expanded with an idea or a concept, it can never be satisfied to going back to where it was. So some of you are going to experience a breakthrough. Some of you are going to go back and look at your dreams and brush them off. Some of you are going to begin to look at yourself and say, hey, look here, I know I have not done all that I can do. When Buster Douglas was fighting with Mike Tyson and the odd makers predicted he was a bum and be out, he'd be knocked out in about one or two rounds. I think that after he made it to the third round, he took some of Mike Tyson's best shots. He said, wait, wait a minute. Hey, Mike, you know, it's possible. Yes, maybe this next call might do. It's possible. This next job interview might be the one. It's possible. In spite of 27 rejections, it's possible that this might be the one. It's possible. Just maybe I can do this. That's all. That, that puts you on the playing field. You ain't got to hype yourself and psych yourself out. What it does is just keep you moving in that direction. That's all I'm asking you. Believe that it's possible that you can make it. I like what Charles Allen said. He said, when you say a situation, a person is hopeless, you're slamming the door in the face of God. You're slamming the door in the face of God. There's no guarantee that because somebody is now down on their luck, they can never come back. Who can guarantee that you can't make it? That you can't have your dream? Who can guarantee that you can't do what you want to do? No one can do that. No one can predict that. You can't even do that. You don't know what the possibilities are for your life. No, no, no. All we need to do is we look at our dreams as we get ready to hit the floor. I am blessed and highly favored and it's possible I can get my dream. You go after that dream too. Don't go casually. You got to go out there like you want that dream. Don't, don't go out here like these people. See, when you feel like you're blessed, you're ready to get into a good fight for this dream. You're ready to get down for this dream. You want your dream? Then you say, I want this dream if it's convenient, if I don't have any hassle, if I don't have to flip through any hoop. Give a person everything that he desires. And at the same moment, he will feel that this is not everything. The only constant in life is change. Embrace it, and you'll grow. I am a firm believer in the people. If given the truth, they can be depended upon to meet any national crisis. The great point is to bring them the real facts. Abraham Lincoln At 20 years of age, the will reigns. At 30, the wit. And at 40, the judgment. Being human means having doubts and yet still continuing on your path. Success in life is the result of good judgment. Good judgment is usually the result of experience. Experience is usually the result of bad judgment. Brian Tracy Against those who lament over being pitied. I am grieved, a man says, at being pitied. Whether then is the fact of your being pitied a thing which concerns you or those who pity you? Well, is it in your power to stop this pity? It is in my power if I show them that I do not require pity. And whether then are you in the condition of not deserving pity, or are you not in that condition? I think I am not. But these persons do not pity me for the things for which if they ought to pity me, it would be proper, I mean, for my faults. But they pity me for my poverty, for not possessing honorable offices, for diseases and deaths, and other such things. Whether then are you prepared to convince the many that not one of these things is an evil, but that it is possible for a man who is poor and has no office and enjoys no honor to be happy, or to show yourself to them as rich and in power? For the second of these things belong to a man who is boastful, silly, and good for nothing, and consider by what means the pretense must be supported. It will be necessary for you to hire slaves and to possess a few silver vessels, and to exhibit them in public if it is possible, though they are often the same, and to attempt to conceal the fact that they are the same, and to have splendid garments and all other things for display, 
and to show that you are a man honored by the great, and to try to sup at their houses, or to be supposed to sup there, and as to your person to employ some mean arts, that you may appear to be more handsome and nobler than you are. These things you must contrive, if you choose to go by the second path, in order not to be pitied. But the first way is both impracticable and long, to attempt the very thing which Zeus has not been able to do, to convince all men what things are good and bad. Is this power given to you? This only is given to you, to convince yourself, and you have not convinced yourself. Then I ask you, do you attempt to persuade other men, and who has lived so long with you as you with yourself? And who has so much power of convincing you as you have of convincing yourself? And who is better disposed and nearer to you than you are to yourself? How then, have you not convinced yourself in order to learn? At present are not things upside down? Is this what you have been earnest about doing? To learn to be free from grief and free from disturbance, and not to be humbled? and to be free? Have you not heard, then, that there is only one way which leads to this end, to give up the things which do not depend on the will, to withdraw from them, and to admit that they belong to others? For another man, then, to have an opinion about you? Of what kind is it? It is a thing independent of the will. Then is it nothing to you? It is nothing. When then you are still vexed at this and disturbed, do you think that you are convinced about good and evil? Will you not then, letting others alone, be to yourself both scholar and teacher? The rest of mankind will look after this, whether it is to their interest to be and to pass their lives in a state contrary to nature. But to me no man is nearer than myself. What then is the meaning of this? that I have listened to the words of the philosophers and I assent to them, but in fact I am no way made easier. Am I so stupid? And yet, in all other things such as I have chosen, I have not been found very stupid, but I learned letters quickly, and to wrestle, and geometry, and to resolve syllogisms. Has not then reason convinced me? And indeed, no other things have I from the beginning so approved and chosen. And now I read about these things, hear about them, write about them. I have so far discovered no reason stronger than this. In what, then, am I deficient? Have the contrary opinions not been eradicated from me? Have the notions themselves not been exercised nor used to be applied to action? but as armor are laid aside and rusted and cannot fit me, and yet neither in the exercises of the palaestra, nor in writing or reading am I satisfied with learning, but I turn up and down the syllogisms which are proposed, and I make others, and sophistical syllogisms also, but the necessary theorems, by proceeding from which a man can become free from grief, fear, passions, hindrance, and a free man. These I do not exercise myself in, nor do I practice in these the proper practice. Then I care about what others will say of me, whether I shall appear to them worth notice, whether I shall appear happy. Wretched man, will you not see what you are saying about yourself? What do you appear to yourself to be? In your opinions, in your desires, in your aversions from things, in your movements, in your preparation, in your designs, and in other acts suitable to a man. But do you trouble yourself about this, whether others pity you? Yes, but I am pitied not as I ought to be. Are you then pained at this? And is he who is pained an object of pity? Yes. How then are you pitied not as you ought to be? Nobody wants the future, but nobody wants to accept their current reality. See, truth is not what you want it to be. It is what it is, and you must bend to its power or live a lie. See, so many people keep telling themselves it didn't happen, but it did, and it hurts you.